Hoy nuestra cita es, es en The School of Visual Arts. Vamos a tener el gusto de encontrarnos con los talleres abiertos de diferentes artistas, encontrarnos con sus trabajos en New Media y video instalación y diferentes tipos de instalación. Hi Karen, how are you? Thanks so much for coming. Oh, please. Thank you for receiving us. We are excited, excited yeah. to see all the open studios mm -hmm. and, and everything that the SBA program has to show us. Oh, we're really proud of our residents this summer, and so we're so glad that you're here to see their final work in their open studios. Um, this, today you'll see work from the Sculpture, Installation, and New Media Art Residency. These are artists that work in 3D, they work in site-specific work, a lot of them work in video and interactivity, electronics. Um, so you'll see quite a lot of different things today and, and quite um, an interesting group of artists in terms of their international backgrounds and also some of the conceptual ideas that they're dealing with. So this is Rumena Turkijev and she's from Bulgaria. Ah, very nice to meet you. And she has this uh, really beautiful sculptural piece that she's created, site specific. That's very interesting. And uh, what concepts are you working with? I was working, I started with working with the material. I was very interested in the rope itself, its origins, its craft. Okay. And then as I was over these five weeks, as I was working with the material, I started becoming interested in its masculine use. Men typically use the rope on sailboats to get people out of the water. It's usually such a uh, kind of binding, drowning material. Um, and then I became interested in making it more female, so unraveling it. Ah, oh, really? Um, yeah, so working with its flexibility. And you take the concept of change in a personal term, so individual or social also? A little both. When you meet someone, your life changes. So what I've done in this piece is I've created a, uh, an altar. And uh, <laughs> it, it's in a way worshipping uh, Raker as well. Oh, okay. uh, but uh, not in a direct sense. It's, it's representing him as a prophet, uh, which he, as a, as, a, as a thinker, he's had a great vision. He's predicted a lot of things that have happened so far, and his predictions of what's going to happen are even more extreme and more crazy, and a lot of people are afraid of what he has to say, because he's talking about humans combining with robots, about living forever. So these technologies will be a million times more powerful within 20 years. In fact, the speed of exponential growth is itself speeding up. So in 25 years, these, these technologies will be a billion times more powerful than they are today. Pero sencillamente es una traducción visual de frecuencias musicales, no sonoras. Entonces la idea es Bueno, si ves ahora, está, ya está reaccionando con mi voz. Pero si voy aquí y hablo en el micrófono. Oh, wow. Si hablo más alto, ¡cha! O si, si, por ejemplo, cada uno de estos triángulos son como distintas frecuencias. Si, por ejemplo, si yo hago una subida con. Como... 
son distintas oh, wow. partes de la escultura que se enseñan, ¿no? Entonces la idea es que la persona se... Es como un juego, ¿no? Entonces la idea es, es un poco sacar, sacar a las personas un poco de esta distancia que tiene la galería, así, al menos aquí, como están siempre silenciosas y un poco distantes del trabajo y, y un poco Aquí les hacer, toca dar, ser sí, parte de la obra. Sí, y, y hacer, hacerse un poco niños, así, ¿sabes? Como empezar a gritar. Otra latina. Muy, muy linda. Y contame qué estás trabajando acá, en, en qué conceptos o, y con qué materiales estás trabajando acá en Nueva York. Y, uh, y ahora estoy trabajando mucho aquí en Nueva York con alta tecnología. Empecé este trabajo con fibra óptica y también con sensores, una cámara de vigilancia sí. que toma tus movimientos acá. Y, uh, y proyecta, con el proyector, proyecta tu sombra hacia, un, hacia el screen. Sí. Y ahí se supone que sale, cuando la sombra sale ahí, aparecen las figuras geométricas alrededor tuyo. Ah, te está capturando a vos. Ah, mira. Ahí también. Y la <risas> figura es geométrica, es geometría sagrada, porque estoy trabajando mucho con geometría sagrada y... Uh, y extraterrestres y este, este es el un poco como el más tema. esotérico the, the Light Project es un, el proyecto de luz se llama sí. y es, eh, es el hombre del futuro es el hombre de otras dimensiones que se supone que sana 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 gente vienen de otros planetas y nos sana y la geometría es parte de ella. transforming into something three-dimensional um, and creating forms so all of these are actually unique nice to meet you and tell us what are you working on well I'm working on um, the, the couple of things that come into play in my work the whole idea of um, I think quilt making combined with the industrial aspect of the carpet that you find in like places that you go in like the offices so the kind of carpet that I chose here is the kind of carpet that you find in what people would consider cold, not homely kind of spaces but trying to activate that in a way that makes it animated in some way so um, the work plays with that but then there's also this cultural element of it where you go, when you think about the carpet and it's flat, but then you're trying to make carpeting into like three-dimensional form and then make it come alive in some way. Beautiful, all this you have shown us around, like it's such an amazing event you, you have to put together. Yeah, I mean, it's quite an event. We have several of them each summer, um, and we have them every summer for all of our different residency programs. Um, and we just are very proud of our residents who are here for such a short amount of time and really get quite an amazing accomplishment. Exactly, um, and also the like for, for the great of SBA, like they, they have such amazing resources in terms of human resources, like technological resources was quite an adventure today. Thank you, Thank so you much Karen, for so much. <laughs> Gracias por compartir con nosotros el capítulo de hoy y nos vamos a ver la próxima semana. Chau, chau.